everyone, welcome to another Simon Says Stamp product tip video. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the Martha Stewart Crafts Scoring Board. This is what the board looks like. It's large format. You can get your 12 by 12 paper on there. And it has a little compartment up here at the top. I actually keep a stylus up here because I like to score with a stylus more than the bone folder. But it does come with a bone folder that you can use. So I'm going to show you how to use it um, with their bone folder. Oh, and I also want to show you that it comes with a little sticker that you can put in right here and it has standard card sizes and just it's kind of a little bit of a cheat sheet for you. I mean, it even has gate fold cards and um, just standard box sizes, things like that. So I have some uh, layering paper from Hero Arts here and I'm going to use the bone folder that comes with it. And the thing that I like about this scoring board is that the grooves in the board are every one eighth inch instead of every quarter inch or anything like that. Some boards out there in the market don't have the score lines quite as close as this. So since this cardstock is eight and a half wide, this is going to be standard size card. So I would score it at four and a quarter. So four and then just one quarter over. And you just kind of feel for where that groove is and then follow it down. You might have to practice a little bit but once you have it, it's super easy. And you just kind of feel for the groove. And then it's super easy to score that cardstock into a perfect sized card. Now, if you want to do some other types of, um, like some decorative scoring lines, you can definitely do that. Like I'm going to come over here and I'll have it be, I'll have it every three quarters of an inch. So it can go like this. And then I have those score lines right there. You can see them on the other side as well. Kind of fun. Then you can turn it this direction and do score lines from the other direction. Coming down to just the fold of the card. You can do a lot of really fun things. Okay, so the reason why I use a stylus is because it has a rounded tip. This bone folder, I noticed as I was using it, that it started to wear down. Like this used to have a much more pointed tip and the more I use it the more it wore down. So I started using a stylus because it has this little rounded tip on it and it has a little bit of a smoother score on it so you can score it right there. I just find that it, it runs along the cardstock a little bit better. See how quickly that scored? So you can even do some little crinkle lines, anything like that. Get some really cool folds. So having a scoreboard, scoring board is really great, especially if you're gonna be doing boxes or different types of fold cards. So that's the scoring board. I also wanna show you one more thing that it comes with. I'm gonna turn it down right here. And down here at the bottom, it comes with this little guide for folding envelopes. And you can store it just right here. Just slide that in and it always stays there. You won't ever lose it. That's what I kind of like. So you can pull that out and then use that to score your envelopes. Um, it comes with some instructions when you, when you buy the scoring board. So make sure you read through those and follow along in the instructions and you should be able to make envelopes of any size. I hope that helps you guys out and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.